hello friends i really appreciate everybody welcome once again my name is dola kuali balogundolibi so many of us have been saying show your face show your face okay this is my face i'm here thank you so much for your support so far thank you for your love thank you for all the wonderful messages your private chat your calls have been i've really really gone a long way i really appreciate you all so um concerning our turban tutorials we have been on for some days now there's something i'll just like to call our attention to oh, you know it's all about being creative there's so many designs you can come up with it doesn't have to be the one um i've actually um shown us it doesn't have to be the ones you see online or you see somewhere else you can come up with your own design yes you can come up with your own designs you can form you can add feathers you can add beads you can add different kind of brooches you can uh, make fabric flowers and form them as your frame those who know how to make fascinators you can form your fascinators and then um, attach them as your frame to your cap bait so now the next um, design i'll be showing us we'll be making a cap like this okay so now let's get started on how to make this um little cap frame and then other things we're going to be attaching to it hi friends welcome back to my channel my name is dolapo ali balogun so we want to continue with our turban um tutorials so now we want to make another design still the same method of cutting your cap base watch my video on how to make a cap base a turban cap base so now for another design we'll be cutting out um, our fabric remember this is our scuba material so we'll be needing about um, 20 inches length of fabric about 20 inches 20 inches length and then um, width of about five to six inches I'm making I'm making my five and a half five to six inches so it is five and a half so I'm going to cut this out So I'm cutting this out. You can actually use the zigzag scissors. It's not available at the time of this video. You can use the zigzag scissors so that it makes your work neater. Or you cut it straight. Make sure you're cutting it straight. Make sure you're cutting it straight. This is 20 inches by 5 and a half inches. So what we'll be doing is all we're doing is we we'll join this together join together yeah you can use your needle and thread or use a sewing machine to join this together so i'm going to be sewing this now i'll sew this now after sewing they will show you the next step so now i've joined this please remember you're joining the wrong side of the fabric you're, you're folding this way this is the wrong side of the fabric so by the time you're done joining your turn you have the right side out so i've turned it out if you want to stone this you can stone you can put pearls you can do anything you wish so um what we'll be doing is this part is the one that will be showing out so you can use a zigzag scissors just like i mentioned earlier so it to be neater so from this part i'm going to be sewing gathers the sewing gathers round also gathers round like this round like this so this part will be open so i'm going to be doing my gather stitch round So gather stitch, just loose stitches like this, like this, then you pull out, doing this like this, then you pull out, so I've got it on the last end and I pull, I pull, look at what is forming, like a cap, so I pull, I pull very well pull and I tack tack it well to secure it is our cap frame so for the other um, pieces we'll be adding to it this is how I did it so the measurement is seven inches by one and a half inches seven inches by one and a half inches okay so um now 
I have I have about 17 pieces here. If I I will be needing more, I will cut more. So um, like I said, the measurement is seven inches by one and a half inches. Seven inches by one and a half inches so with our needle and thread don't forget you can use your zigzag scissors my zigzag scissors is not available at the moment i've been looking for it so um but uh, i just need to go on with this video okay so um what you just do is you fold it this way you fold it this way you fold the next one like this make sure that you're using check the right side of the fabric fold this way so from here can just stitch like this at this point you have the next one at what I'm doing at this point like half of this you have the next one and stitch together you continue like that you have the next one And stitch so I'm going to be stitching some pieces here because um, I'll show you what will be forming on this stitch some pieces here maybe like um, 10 or lesser at a go they will form another one so this is just the idea I'll be stitching them together I have the next one like this and the next one like this nice stitch so I have about eight pieces attached the same way so the last one the last one just place it like this either on top or under and then stitch stitch this is about eight pieces I'm going to be forming another set maybe five five or six pieces and I'll place them on each other don't forget to use your zigzag scissors. This is Dolly V Creations. Please join us on Facebook at um, Dolly B. Search for Dolly B Fashion and Crafts. Also, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Search for Dolly B Creations for more free tutorials. I'll be uploading soon. So, this like eight pieces. We have eight pieces here eight pieces then i'll be forming another set of maybe five or six and i'll be placing them on each other so you can add pearls you can add your stones i'll be doing all that and i'll show you the final step all right so this is um one this is another one so what we'll be doing is this one i use six pieces attached to six pieces i stitch and i pull and um, did my final tucking to secure it so i'm going to be placing them on each other like this and i'll sew them together i'll tuck them together so when you're using your zigzag scissors it comes out final so this is how it's going to look like so for the middle part for the middle part is that you cut out a cycle a small piece and um, decorate with stones then you place it here or you use your brooch okay Tuck them together, and I've also also added my pearls. So I'll be putting my brooch, putting my brooch. So this is what I have. So apart from the brooch, you know we're going to attach this to this cap base, this cap and frame that we did the other time. So we'll attach them together. You can as well add feathers, and add feathers like this. Just have your feathers. Just did anyhow you want it. Just put your feathers somewhere here, just to decorate it. You know, decorate it with your feathers. Anything you can just come up with to make it come out fine. So this is our cap um, frame, and I will attach this together either by using gum or I sew them. I prefer sewing. I will just attach this with gum. together with gum and once it dries off so you place it on your frame like this 
so this is the final result so this is it I'm going to attach this like this to my cap base so this is what I have don't forget to join us on Facebook search for Dolly B fashion and craft on Facebook I assure you I'm going to be sharing some further tutorials some craft tutorials on our Facebook group wall soon thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you guys